If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. Let's start with the construction of N channel JFET. The name N channel signifies that here electrons are the majority charge carriers. To form the N channel JFET, we take N type semiconductor as the base and dope it with a P type semiconductor at both the ends. Both these P regions are electrically connected to each other and an ohmic contact is taken out of which is called as the gate. Two more terminals are taken out from N substrate and are called as source and the drain. Thus a JFET has three terminals source, drain and gate. Similar to BJT, JFET also has two PN junctions. For constructing a P-channel JFET, we take a P-substrate and dope N-type semiconductors at the two ends to form the gate. Thus the two types of JFETs are constructed as shown. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Moving forward towards the working, let's bias the JFET with the two voltage sources. One between the gate and the source as VGS and the second between the drain and the source as VDS. The source acts as a common terminal. Initially, as no voltage is applied, the depletion region is formed across the two PN junctions. Being of N type, the drain to source channel contains electrons as majority charge carriers. Application of the small drain to source voltage makes these electrons flow from the source to the drain as the positive voltage at the drain attracts them. Thus the drain current flows through the JFET from the drain to the source. Now let's keep the VDS constant and apply some gate to the source voltage. P region contains holes. Applying the negative voltage to the gate makes the PN junction reverse biased. The depletion region width increases and it penetrates more deeply into the channel, decreasing the channel width and thus the drain current reduces. Now if we increase the gate voltage towards a more negative side, the depletion region goes on increasing and a point comes when the channel gets depleted completely. The value of VGS is called as the pinch of voltage or threshold voltage. At this point the current flows stop. Now let's keep the VGS voltage constant within between 0 volts and the pinch of value and increase the VDS voltage. VDS is nothing but the voltage drop across the channel which increases as we move towards the drain. Also the reverse bias voltage of VGS is the highest at the drain. Thus the depletion region gets a tapered shape near the drain and channel becomes much narrower in this case. Thus ID remains constant and the characteristic graph becomes non-linear. Now studying all the cases you may have a question that why VGS is never positive. Gate voltage primary controls the flow of the drain current. If we apply VGS positive this will make the PN junction forward biased and the gate ceases to control the current flow. Thus we never apply a voltage above 0 volts to the gate terminal. Thus in the JFET the output current ID is controlled by the input voltage VGS. Thus FET is a voltage control device whereas BJT is a current control device. The characteristics of JFET are as shown in the figure. If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications.